It's most likely that your introduction to Munich, the capital of Bavaria, will begin here in the famous Marienplatz, admiring the neo-Gothic town hall or Rathaus. This is the new Rathaus from 1874, with a few later additions completed in 1903. You'll be welcomed at the information office below, but you'll probably also take time to look up to the figurines on the Glockenspiel with depictions of Bavarian history. They appear three times a day and draw large crowds to view their 12-minute performance. But at any time of day, or any time of year, the Marienplatz is a busy place. There are Munich tourist attractions close by in any direction, be it churches, shops, restaurants, markets or monuments, such as the mid-19th century Feldhörnhalle or Field Marshal's Gallery on the Odeonplatz. If you follow Borgstrasse to the Alterhof Ark in the laneway to the left, you'll find a plaque marking the house where Mozart stayed while composing his 1781 opera Idomeneo at the Cavoulier Theatre for Elector Karl Theodor. The Rococo Theatre is inside the residence on this square. Alongside the palace is the National Theatre. The entry to the major marketplace, the, the Victor Alienmarkt, is behind the tall St. Peter's Church at one end of the Marienplatz. This market is popular for its fresh produce, its colourful maypole and sizeable beer garden. But if you head towards the far corner of the market, you'll find Blumenstrasse and more recent attractions. I wandered into a pomade shop here where company head and founder of the online store and the retail shop, Stan Soldan, was dropping by to discuss products and promotions with his Munich shop manager, Frederick. The shop itself has a vast, colourful array of hair grooming products and treatments, with some dating as far back to the stars of the 1930s. Pomades themselves are back in style and used by modern movie stars. But visitors, as well as stocking up on various grooming aids, also seem to go there to take some time out from the hustle of a big city to immerse themselves for a short time into the nostalgic atmosphere of past eras. Frederick is also a talented artist and fascinating celebrities that he has sketched grace the walls of this store. And just across the road, if you like Italian cuisine, you will find everything you ever wanted at Italy, which is an enormous marketplace of genuine Italian food and beverage products. I took a virtual tour of this amazing market that also contains restaurants, bars and food and beverage counters. Molto bene.
But outside, Munich also has green spaces. But just be aware that in its famous English park in summer, clothes are optional. If you are on the Mozart trail, Wolfgang also performed at Munich's Niffenburg Castle when he was seven. It was also the birthplace of Bavaria's so-called Mad King, Ludwig II. Munich has great beer festivals, such as the annual Oktoberfest. But this is the popular historic beer hall all year round, the Hofbräuhaus. This present-day site of the Duke's own brewery dates from 1607. Whatever your taste, there are many magical moments to be had in Munich, the capital of Bavaria, Germany.